True Blood, The Vampire Diaries. It's the twilight phenomenon that's captivated pop culture. But now, you want to hear something really scary? I needed it. We've got the real thing. It was a stimulant, an aphrodisiac. The bloodthirsty villain at the center of a case that lives in criminal infamy as the vampire murders. I snapped. I lost full control of myself. I saw red. And the next thing I knew, I was basically covered in blood. And you want to hear something even scarier. This self-proclaimed vampire could be freed from his cage any time now and coming to a town near you, a prospect that horrifies the detective who hunted him down. Somebody that vicious and, and what he did, no, I would not give him a chance. Crime Watch Daily special correspondent Phil Chalmers, who literally wrote the encyclopedia on teen killers, came face to face with Rod Farrell in a chilling prison interview with the vampire. I did consume blood. It was supposed to be the nurturing of a connection between you and whoever you were taking the blood from or sharing the blood with. It's supposed to be intimate. It's hard to fathom how an innocent child weaned on his mother's milk could grow into a murderer with such a thirst for blood. If people had understood back then, maybe it could have stopped what I became. But nobody did. Rod's mother, Sandra Gibson, was still not much more than a child herself, just 16 when she gave birth to him, and he would only see his father on very rare occasions throughout his childhood. They were married for perhaps three weeks. That was it. And even though he was close to Sandra, as her only child, little Rod appeared to have a love-hate relationship with her. Once writing in a school essay, she is a monster when she is angry, but I still love her. A lot of people didn't realize the things she would do. For one, vampire culture was a kind of family tradition begun by Sandra herself, who dabbled in it while raising her son in the small town of Murray, Kentucky. I had a fascination, I guess you could say. Did you get involved in drinking blood and all that kind of stuff? I never got involved in drinking blood, no. It was Sandra who introduced Rod to the netherworld of the undead, playing vampire video games, reading vampire books, and watching vampire movies with him. It's not all that violent. But it was apparently violent enough to have had a powerful influence on Rod, who had already developed a macabre lust for blood as a young teenager, starting with his own blood in his bedroom. My mother walks in and I'm cutting myself straight up, like basically from groin to gullet. Just cutting myself open. He was a cutter. I felt helpless. I didn't know where to go to, to get help. Rod had also gotten into sex and drugs. He was using all kinds. He was hallucinogenic drugs and all different things, mixing them together, as well as drinking alcohol with them. If it was a drug I could get my hands on, I used it. Same thing with sex. I was a sexual deviant with so many girls I don't even know. All of this playing out to a morbid goth soundtrack. Everything I was listening to was dark. It was hard driven. It was based upon hate, war, death, pain. That's all my music, all of my movies that I watched. He was also in the black arts. He was teaching other kids and other people about being in the black arts and about witchcraft. My bedroom was an array of the darker side of the occult, such as the Necronomicon, the Satanic Bible. I had upside down crosses. I had broken shards of glass laying about in the corner. I had hooks and metal cables wrapped around, looking like a Hellraiser. By age 15, Rod was convinced he was actually 500 years old and one of the undead. I believed I was a vampire. In fact, he had become the leader of his own small cult of teenage followers partaking in vampire rituals. I tried to actually embrace the lifestyle of being a vampire. And being so young, my mind latched onto it so deeply, so tenaciously, that I got lost inside of it. And Rod Farrell, teenage vampire, was about to lead his small group of so-called disciples into the ultimate bloodletting ritual. That's when I found a crowbar. Next, the horrifying vampire cult killing of the parents of Rod's newest young recruit. Did Heather ask you to kill her parents? 